Vanadium is the 23rd element on the periodic table. I think vanadium is interesting partly because it has a lot of different oxidation states and this is one of the first metals with a lot of different oxidation states. What this means is that it can bond in many different ways to the same other elements and those compounds that it makes are in turn very colorful usually and even more colorful in solution and very cool because you can depending on what you add or what environment you put them in they can change color. So I'd love to show you these fun properties of vanadium with vanadium salts but vanadium salts are typically very expensive and there are just a few that aren't. So I'm not going to show you these cool properties with vanadium but for my manganese video I'm going to use manganese salts and put them in different environments, add different stuff and you'll be able to see the color change um, and, and the manganese ch changing its oxidation state. So you'll be able to see this cool property of metals with many oxidation states in my manganese video. Most of vanadium's use in industry stems from the fact that steel alloyed with a few percent of vanadium, usually in the form of vanadium carbide, makes the steel very, very, very strong. Titanium is very strong and very light, but not nearly as strong as vanadium steel. So in grinding wheels and high-speed steels, you'll still most likely find vanadium steel, although titanium is slowly but surely taking over. As always, I try to show you a sample of the element I'm talking about, and vanadium is no exception. So here is my sample of vanadium. Now, it looks a little different from the other transition metals that I showed you because this is in turning form. It's little kind of ribbons and curly cues of vanadium instead of a lump form. But if you look at it, it's still silvery gray, and just like all other transition metals. So get used to this color for transition metals.